Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel and great graphics of multimedia. My name is Shafiria Abu and this channel is all about the graphic design tutorial. Free tutorial Monday to Friday and the content uh, of this channel includes current graphics, Adobe Illustrator graphics and Adobe Photoshop. So when you visit my channel, all you have to do is to come to the video icon here you click on video. So when you click on video, you're going to see my present and the past tutorial in Corel Pro and Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. My tutorial obviously is usually made for beginner and likewise and plan. Then all you have to do is scroll down. When you scroll down, you see my present and the past tutorial. All you have to do is to watch the video, learn more of the things and don't forget to subscribe to my channel when you visit. And also remember to click on the notification bell icon. Have any question, put a comment question in the comment section down below. I'm going to scroll down. These are the past and the present tutorial I have made in Corel Pro, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop. So let's get this to me started. Welcome back, guys. I welcome you to the four of my Corel Pro tutorial for beginners. If you have not watched the previous tutorial, I advise you to check my channel to see my part day one, day two, and day three before you watch this day for correct draw for beginners because that will be the best thing for you and will give you more insight about the tutorial. Right? So let's get to the tutorial today. In today's tutorial, we're going to see how you can lay out Trifold uh, Procure, Trifold Procure, and some other printing design they have in Corel X7, right? So now, what we are going to do is that uh, basically we know that triple Brokio is A4 size, and you can see on the screen here is uh, I have my A4 size setting as a default. So what we are, what I'm going to do here is uh, come here and change this to inches. Right. So having changed it to inches, we need to change our orientation here to landscape. Okay, now we can change it from this side. Click on this shadow here. Then A4, then it's already in landscape. Okay. Something's wrong. Let me quickly delete this and make a new, new page. So you click on this plus icon, simply this in your page. Then set my page here, landscape. Then I'll come here and call this rainbow Tokyo. Right? So I come here and change it to inches. Change it to landscape. Their resolution, just like I mentioned earlier, should always be 300 and the color should always be CMYK. Then we we'll click on OK. Alright. So I can copy that next to it. You will see. Now we're going to divide this into three equal parts. That is the meaning of the four procure in color. So what I'm going to do is to go to my toothbrush here, double click the rectangle to create a page for that. So now we know that our size of the A4 here is 11.693 by 8.268. This is what we are going to work on. So what we, are, what, we, what we are going to do is to bring out our calculator from this point here. So I'm so going to bring out my calculator apps. Okay. okay.
So this figure here, 11 point, point six nine three. I'm going to divide it by three. Okay. Well, so I'm having three point eight nine seven, right? Three point eight nine seven. So I'm going to type it here. 3.897 then when I'm done I'm going to press the enter keyboard good so one other thing I'm going to do is to come back here to my to spark double click on the rectangle good now next step to take is to Look for my smart fit tool just to divide the page into three. Okay, so I have my smart fit tools here. So I can fit each of the column with my smart fit tools. Then I can change my fit tool here. So I can orange. Red. Then I can select everything like this. Carry on to stroke. Okay. okay, so this is how you lay out the full profile in Corel Pro. Okay, so if you want to set layout for two fold profile, so let's quickly delete this. What we are going to do is that it's a simple logic. We can make you so. Okay, let's try and see the first option here. You double click the rectangle here. So we're going to have our stock here. Then I will drag the ruler to determine the center point. So I can just resize it as map to the center. Then you double click on the rectangle again. Good. So we have our page visible in equal part. So this is first, this is second. So this is how you lay out for to fold profile a color of except. So we can delete our ruler now. Alright, so this is where we stop for print design layout as far as for the X7 tutorial is concerned. So the next tutorial we're going to talk about some of the tools in current from X7 from Big Tools here. We're going to discuss from Big Tools here and we're going to look at uh, everything about our menu, menu bar and tax bar just like that. Right? And don't forget to visit my channel for more interesting video in Corel Draw, Advanced and Beginner, and the Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching the video from the beginning to the end. See you soon.